Concluding his historic visit to Belgium, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has reached Washington. He will be attending the fourth nuclear security summit. The Prime Minister and the US President Barack Obama will be among the world leaders who will finalize a new nuclear safety world order. Addressing Indian diaspora in Belgium during his one-day visit, Prime Minister Modi terms terrorism a challenge for humanity, says India has lost more soldiers in terrorism than war. India and Belgium agreed to step up bilateral partnership in trade and business. PM Modi calls for combining Belgian capacities with Indian growth to boost business opportunities. PM also pushes for broad-based trade and investment agreement between India and the European Union. The five-member Pakistan probe team returns to Delhi after winding up its inspection visit to terror attack site in Patan Court. Ex-SP Salvinder Singh also lined up for questioning. India presents clinching evidence of Pak-based Jesh Mohammed chief and his brother's involvement in the attack. The special CBI court begins hearing arguments on the quantum of sentence in the cold scam case. Delivering its first order in the coal block allocation case, a special court on Monday held Jharkhand Ispat Private Limited and its two directors guilty of criminal conspiracy and cheating in the allocation of the North Dhadu coal block in Jharkhand. Union Finance Minister Arun Jetli says economic reforms are widely accepted in India, especially the reforms in taxation and foreign direct investment, among others. Says India faces three challenges now, boosting exports in view of shrinking global trade, increase in private investment and better hope for monsoon this year after insufficient rains in the last two consecutive years. The minister was making his opening remarks during the meeting with the Foreign Minister of Australia, Ms. Julie Bishop in Sydney yesterday. In a major technological advancement for astronomy in the country, Asia's largest and first of its kind optical telescope was unveiled in Devasthal near Nainital. Prime Minister Narendra Modi remotely activated the Aryabhata Research Institute for Observational Sciences Telescope along with Belgian Prime Minister Charles Michel. In Chhattisgarh, seven personnel of the Central Reserve Police Force were killed in a powerful blast triggered by Maos in Dantewara district in the tribal Bastar region on Wednesday. Dantewada District Superintendent of Police said the Maoists triggered a powerful IED blast targeting a minivan in which they were traveling and later opened indiscriminate firing at the injured personnel. Today is the last day of the financial year 2015-16. All banks will keep open the counters of their designated branches conducting government business till 8 p.m. today. The RBI has asked banks to remain open in view of closing of the current financial year and to facilitate the taxpayers in payment of taxes. Post offices across the country will also conduct banking transactions up to 10 p.m. today. Supreme Court approves centre's guidelines to protect good Samaritans who help road accident victims from being unnecessarily harassed by the police or any other authority. A bench of the Apex Court asked the central government to give wide publicity to these guidelines so that people who help others in time of distress are not victimised by any authority. Businessman Vijay Malia and Kingfisher Airlines yesterday submitted a proposal for repayment of 4,000 crore rupees to the consortium of banks by September this year. Along with Malia and Kingfisher, the proposal also submitted by United Bureau Release Limited and Kingfisher Finvest India Limited, Malia offered to pay 2,000 crore rupees up front and the remaining 2,000 crore rupees by 30th September 2016. As election date approaches in poll-bound Assam, political temperatures have started to shoot up. BJP leader and Union Minister Rajnath Singh launches a sharp attack on Congress. Says NDA government at the center will completely seal the Indo-Bangladesh border to stop intrusion. Meanwhile, Congress President Sonia Gandhi recounted many contributions of Tarun Gogoi to welfare of the people of the state. A Bangladesh court issued an arrest warrant on Wednesday for former Prime Minister and opposition leader Khalida Zia over a deadly firebombing attack last year, a prosecutor said. The court also issued arrest warrants for 27 leaders and activists of Khalidah's Bangladesh Nationalist Party in connection with the petrol bomb attack on a bus during a party protest in Dhaka in January last year. In the World T20, India pin high hopes against the West Indies in the second semi-final to be played today at Mumbai's Wankade Stadium. Manish Pandey replaces the injured Yuvraj Singh. England has already entered the finals of the high-profile tournament by beating New Zealand. Saina Nehwal and PV Sindhu started their campaigns with spectacular wins in the women's singles, while the mixed doubles pair of Manu Atri and Ashwini Ponapa also entered the pre-quarterfinals of the India Open World Badminton Super Series at the City Fourth Sports Complex in Delhi on Wednesday.